Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and today Genshin Impact Official just launched their new banners for 3.1 first half. And as you can see here, we have Sino, Cookie, Candace, as well as Sayu. Overall, I think this is a pretty decent banner, other than of course most of them being pretty new characters. I personally don't think I have Cookie yet at C6, so it's a definitely a nice banner to get some constellations for Cookie Shinobu. She has gotten really a lot better since 3.0 launch with the new Dendro reactions. I did many videos already, and for those of you who want to see how I built my Cookie, I'll link it in the video card above for those who are interested. Overall, this banner, I think the worst but even not so is Sayu out of them in terms of like meta but in my opinion I think Sayu is really good for exploration the speed is insane great for exploration Animo as well some healing as well as you need it and it's a claymore user so you can also mine rocks with Sayu after looking at Candice Kate it seems that she is more of a buffing type unit and a supportive role rather than like a damage dealing on field kind of character the key thing that stands out to me is that she increases elemental damage for characters with normal attacks so she's something like a Yunjin just like an elemental buffer and whenever a character enters the field they will deal AOE hydro damage to opponents which is a pretty good amount of hydro application from time to time and also a hydro infusion for swords, claymore and pure arm wielding characters which is pretty interesting because now we can have for example a very easy freeze team with Shen He but we'll see how that goes overall definitely interesting character not too fascinating and not too amazingly broken for now or at least that's what I think so far but we will definitely have to test her out and I'll be doing so once she launches. As for the main man Sino himself, he looks like a very insane unit that is going to take up a lot of field time and skills of EM and aggravate type of character. I've already done longer videos on Shinyu Pu and discussing on more theoretical questions on him. If you're interested, I'll link in the video covered above. But before concluding on how strong he actually is, I need to see the numbers and will update all of you by the end of this week. So jumping to the weapon banner real quick, we see that Mihoyo also just included a weapon banner preview for patch 3.1 first half. And I think that this spear is really incredible, but let's look at the cast of weapons that we see so far and just talk a little bit about it. So this new Claymore and the new weapons that are coming out other than the free event one seems to be more of like an event wish banner exclusive. For example, like the Aquamaru series, the Wavebreaker Finn in Inazuma, or even the Ali series that we saw in Mondstadt for a brief moment, like Wine and Song and all those. Sacrificial Fragments, a very, very solid weapon for Sucrose, and most characters will be able to use the Elemental Mastery stat now, especially with a new Dendro reactions being added and a lot of focus on EM. For Vonius Lance, a solid weapon can be used on most characters again. For Vonius Bow, also a great addition. I think Lion's Roar is the most muted one but it's also still decently useful on characters like Kerching and Banner if you don't have a better alternative. Still usable, probably the worst out of the five but still really really great and it shows how decent this lineup is. Probably the only way to like make this banner better would have been to change this Lion's Roar into Sacrificial Sword but then again that will be way too broken. So in terms of the 5 star lineup, really solid cast. Elegy for the end is extremely good, one of the best support weapons, very underrated when it was first released. It's not even a standard 5 star, it's a limited banner 5 star weapon so you can't get it from the standard banner. So it's a very solid pair to have, very good for any bow character that is meant to play a supporting role like for example Kujo Sarah all can use this bow with the buffing ability that it provides. Now let's jump real quick to this Aquamarine Claymore. So the stats for this Claymore was actually released over the weekend and let's just talk about it real quick. Overall I think it's a pretty straightforward Elemental Mastery Claymore with one key point that makes it pretty interesting for me. And I think that is the stackable buff that it provides. So based on the amount of Elemental Mastery the character having this weapon, you will get an attack buff plus you give a smaller attack buff to the rest of the team. So everyone becomes like a, a little bit like a pseudo banner that scales off with EM. What this means is characters like Sayu who doesn't mind some elemental mastery could stack elemental mastery and provide attack buffs for the rest of the team as well. And it seems how it works is you don't even have a condition to trigger it. It just naturally triggers every 10 seconds and it lasts for 12 seconds so it's 100% uptime with the exact same duration. Pretty interesting Claymore, very good support weapon. I would like to pick one up myself and it doesn't even need you to have like uh, leveling up. You can just use it at level 1 and you'll still give the attack buff. Very cost effective weapon as well. So let's talk about this Sino Spear real quick and I think this is a really incredible weapon. The, firstly, the crit rate is very insane. You have a Primordial Jade Cutter amount of crit rate that will probably be useful for even Hu Tao, Xiang Ling. You could even use it on Raiden Shogun if you don't need the energy recharge or you don't have, for example, the Engulfing Lightning. The crit rate is insane and a character that doesn't need high base attack will definitely find this very, very useful. Even a character that has high that uses base attack but gets buff, for example, from like Sarah or Bennett, 
definitely would like this weapon a lot because of the huge amount of crit rate stats sacrificing that base attack. Of course, a character like Shen He may not like this as much compared to like the Calamity Queller which gives like 200 more base attack, but overall, even she can, even she if used as some sort of damage dealer will really like this huge crit rate right now. I think this weapon is probably the, the Sumeru's version of Staff of Homa and it's very very attractive to have given how we are also in like a pole arm impact. So overall, I do think that this is a real insane banner. We have like the Sumeru's version of Staff of Homa, a solid energy for the end weapon, a real good lineup of 4 star weapons and a pretty interesting supportive claymore as well. I do think that this weapon banner is, is, is really strong in contender. I wouldn't say it's like a must pull, but it's possibly one of the better ones that we have been seeing for quite a while. So if you have been saving up your Primo gems and you really want to go out, out for Sino and stuff like that, I do think this is a pretty good banner to go ham on. Am I going to be pulling on the weapons banner? I don't know yet. If I get Sino early and have some couple of pulls extra, I might consider going on this one because I still have Nilo to think about and I need to save for at least 180 pulls for guarantee for Nilo. So I am also torn. I need to think about that. And thank you very much for watching and see you in two days time when we go deep diving into Sino and Candice and stuff like that. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.